So I'm going to try out this new mold that I got in the mail. It's obviously a Hanukkah mold. Dreidel, Jewish star, and menorah. I'm going to try it out with my UV resin. Now shortly I'm going to realize I have overfilled these molds because it is not a transparent mold and I didn't realize how uh, poorly the UV resin works when the mold is not a clear mold. But regardless, let's watch me, let's watch me fail at this one. I'm trying to get into these tiny little crevices. Now see, this is what happens. It leaves like an air bubble underneath where UV resin is hot um, and is liquid. So you get all these weird little gaps. Yep. What a mess. I do manage to salvage a few of them later, but uh, frustration has, has commenced. And you still get the fundamental shape, but there's just, it's not tidy and there's weird gaps. So this time I'm going to do really thin layers and I'm going to just do multiple layers until it all sets. It will work this way. It's just a lot more tedious and um, time consuming, obviously. I'm just layering by layering. I'm using my little silicone um, uh, clay tool to sort of get everything into the crevices the best I can. So here I'm going to try and fill in these problems. So I'm just going to try and Sort of plunk in resin where the real messy points are and see if I can correct it enough that I can still use it as a piece. It's a shame to, to waste it, you know. This one's a little bit more complicated because there's a weird bubble, but I'm just going to fill it in the best I can. And obviously on the dreidel you're losing all the letters, but uh, at least you still get the shape, so it still works. As you can see, I'm still being fussy filling it in. The thinner the layers, I think, the fussier I get with it. I'm just going to use my little daughter tool to try to 
drag it into the, the center candle because it is really fine detail. Now I'm going to try doing it in a less amount of layers on this uh, Star of David. So let's see. And that came out so much better. A little tiny bit of cleanup, but overall really nice and clean. I guess all the fussing was worthwhile. Very nice and clear. A little hazy on, on this one. But uh, the detail is nice. And comparatively, you can see that you're losing the detail when you try and correct it. But it still looks, you know, halfway decent. I think the Star of David is the least affected. It still looks good either way. Now I'm trying out these acrylic markers. It's a 0.7 fine tip, which seems to get into the grooves really well. So I'm filling in the Hebrew lettering um, so that it really does have much more of a dreidel appearance. really works well. I'm impressed. Now I'm going to use my Artist Loft metallic uh, acrylic paints and I'm just going to very gingerly paint on color as needed. So I'm going to do the uh, flames obviously in yellow and so on and so forth. I'm sorry the camera lens keeps getting out of focus here. It's so tiny it doesn't seem to want to focus on it very well. There we go. Now I'm just going to pop some metallic glue on the back of the dreidels just to sort of give it that back uh, glowy color. It seems to work really well with the resin. And I just find covering the backs with acrylic paint on resin seems to be easier uh, with my finger. Messy, but easier. Gives me a smoother finish, generally. So now I'm just going to do some classic sort of menorah colors. So silver, gold, copper, um, all the beautiful metals generally are, are what the menorahs are made out of. Also going to do some silver on the Star of David. Make it stand out nice. Just on the edges.
and just continue to accentuate it however however I see fit at this point. So the copper right under the uh, yellow flames kind of brightens it up nicely. This is the one that we painted the back of with the white lettering in the front. It does give it a nice finish. And now some gold. And I do go back and forth while I paint. Just I let things dry, work on the next one, come back to it. That's why it's slightly out of sequence visually, but it's actually in sequence for how I accomplished it. And sorry for the awkward quiet. There's really not much to say here other than just continue painting until the uh, metallic colors look vibrant. Sometimes it takes a few coats. Alright, so here's what it looks like with all those coats on. Um, I'm going to paint the bottom just to give it a little finish there, but uh, overall I think it's looking really quite pretty. I'm actually very impressed with this mold after all that fussing. Just coating the paint portion on the back so that I can attach a little uh, tie pin clip just to sort of point out the resin so that it looks neat and tidy. Using the mold to hold it up so it doesn't tip over awkwardly. And voila! And I put a little rhinestone on it. There was still like a little bubble that was annoying me, so rhinestones hide all flaws. And I did that to the menorah. I had painted that one blue in the back just to give it a bit more pop and did the same thing. Now I'm going to try this dragonfly glaze that I bought at Michael's. Never tried it before. It's supposed to sort of be like a flip coat. Thought it might be nice to try on the back of like the Star of David or one of those. I'm just going to blop a little bit on the back and again use my finger. And that's just to let it dry for two hours, but I think if you do with an enough coating, I don't think you really need to. And I'm just trying sort of different thicknesses of the glaze on it, and you can sort of catch it there. Sort of like a purpley bluey flip of color. Very cool so far. And they do say to put either like a white or a dark color behind it and it will change the way it looks. So I am going to try that as well. So here's just the, the glaze itself in the back. You can really see it catch the light. It's quite pretty. Yeah, I put two coats on this one. And you can really sort of see it flip, which is really neat.
disappears and poof, really holographic. So I'm going to paint the back of this one with the blue, see if the clip shows up more. Pretty neat. So now I'm going to try a white back on this one. And for the white, I usually try to use like a medium to thick acrylic if I'm using it as a back color, just so that I don't have to put on a bunch of coats. It really gives you a, a one application um, white that way. Oh, look how pretty that is. It's like a snowflake, a real snowflake, even though we're doing a Star of David. And here, let's try the black. Also a medium thickness acrylic just to give it a full opacity on that one. And you can see the blue shimmer really also quite lovely. Here's some of the finished products. There's the menorah, some of the dreidels, Star of David, and that's the whole the whole thing. <laughs>